So, we know how to calculate the molarity of a solution. Now, we will calculate molarity on dilution that is when we add more water to the same solution how to calculate the molarity and we will also calculate the molarity if two different concentrations are given. Okay. So, one is having one different concentration other or acid or base is having another concentration. So, in case we mix those two how will the concentration change in terms of molarity. First, we will see the molarity on dilution. Okay. So, now here find molarity if 100 ml of 0.5 m nitric acid solution is diluted with 200 ml of water and initial concentration of 0.5 m is in 100 ml. Okay. So, let us take like this. Okay. So, this part is 100 ml of 0.5 m nitric acid. Okay. So, this is again nitric acid. Now, to this solution, I am going to add 200 ml of water. So, this volume is 200 ml. So, now what has happened here? The volume has increased. So, now please remember when volume increases, the molarity will decrease. Okay. So, the formula to be used here is, so first let us see what is given. So, let us see like you know m1 is given that is 0.5 m, v1 is equal to 100 ml. Again m2 is what we have to calculate on dilution and v2 is given as 200 ml. Okay? So, the formula used here is m2 will be equal to m1 v1 divided by v1 plus v2. So, substituting the values here we will get. So, m1 is 0 0.5 into 100 divided by 100 plus 200 ml. So, this would be equal to 0 0.16 m. Okay? Now, let us see when we mix two base or acids. Here, here I have given a problem where we have to find the molarity of a solution when 3 liter of 0.5 m NaOH is mixed with 2 liter of 2.5 m NaOH. Now, here please remember that we cannot mix an acid or a base something like that. We have the same solution has to be used. Okay? Only then the formula what I am writing will be applicable. So, here so the what is m1 here? m1 is 0 0.5 m and v1 is equal to 3 liters. Okay? Similarly, m2 is equal to 2.5 m and v2 is equal to 2 liters. So, here the formula would be molarity is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2. So, substituting the values in this formula, we will get m will be equal to 0 0.5 into 3 plus 2.5 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2. So, here the value will be 1.3 m. So, this will be the molarity of the solution when we mix two different concentration. Let us now calculate the molality of the solution, okay, which is denoted by m. This is another co concentration term. So, what is molality? It is the number of moles of solute per kg of the solvent. That is m is equal to number of moles of solute divided by 1 kg of solvent, which is given by W2 by M2 divided by W1 by 1000. So, this is with respect to solute and this is with respect to solvent. So, rearranging this we will get W2 divided by M2 into 1000 divided by W1. The unit of molality is moles per kg. Okay, now, we will do a numerical based on this. Calculate the molality of solution if 20 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 200 grams of solution. So, what is given for so the solute is sodium hydroxide. So, for this the weight is given which is W2 which is 20 grams 
and the molecular weight of the solute that is sodium hydroxide is 40. Okay, now, with respect to solvent W1 is equal to see here 200 grams of solution is given. So, uh, so in solution like you know both solute and solvent is a now we have to remove the solute part. So, solute is 20 grams and we have to subtract from this 200 grams. So, this would be equal to 180 grams. So, substituting this value in the formula m will be equal to w2 is 20 m2 is 40 into 1000 divided by 180. So, this will be equal to 2 point m molar solution.